how to customize blogger templates for beginners hey guys welcome back in this video i'll show you guys how you can add a template in blogger and how you can customize these templates so let's get into it now blogger is a great platform to get started with especially if you're someone that's just looking for a simple blog and it can be super fun to create your own blog if you're doing it for your business or if you're just doing it just for fun as well however sometimes using a template on blogger can be pretty difficult and the pre-existing ways you can create a blog aren't that advanced so if i create you know a blog called Durden, i click on next and then enter my address over here so this isn't available so i'm just gonna add Durden zero and then i'm gonna click on save over here and then if i take a look at my blog it's gonna be like a very empty blog and the basic template on blogger can sometimes be a bit redundant so for that reason we can use a template now to get blogger templates we are going to go on to guyabytemplates.com and you guys will see you have a bunch of different blogger templates available and you can choose whichever one you prefer these are all free templates so you can you know filter out free templates you can filter out templates with a specific niche as well so i am going to be using let's say i'm going to be using this template over here maybe or i'll just use something a bit more simpler i think this looks pretty nice so i'm going to click on this one over here and then this is the solio blogger template now i can click on a live preview over here to be able to see what this template is going to look like in action so you know this is the template in action and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on download over here and i will download this template now once you have downloaded this template you're going to open this template up and you're just going to unzip your template so it has now been unzipped now once you do that you can go back into your blogger dashboard so once we are in our blogger dashboard what we're going to do is we are going to click on a theme on the left panel over here now once you click on theme you will see all of your pre-existing themes but we want to add this one so we're going to click on over here and click on customize now you guys will see you have your advanced settings you have gadgets as well and then you also have the switch to first generation classic and the edit html theme so just going back in to my theme settings i'm going to click on the drop down arrow and i'm going to click on backup so if you have established your blog already always make sure to back up your original blog because if you don't do that you might end up you know having a few issues and that might ruin a lot of your progress on your blog so what i like to do is i like to back it up first but this is just a sample blog so i'm not going to back up and then you're going to click on restore now once you do that you are going to click on upload and then from here just go into downloads and open up the .xml file of your template so we're just going to click on upload over here and then we're just going to wait for this to be completed and it might take a couple of minutes for this to you know fully be uploaded and now we have uploaded our theme so now this is our blog so our theme has now been applied now this is just the application of our customized theme to further customize it we're going to click on customize in the theme section and we can get started with the customization of each individual section so you can edit your alignment your main theme color as well as all of your text colors your box colors and more now i'm going to leave this for now and what we're going to do is we're going to go into our posts and i'll just make a sample post to show you guys what it's going to look like so let's say this is going to be pokemon or amazing and then we're just going to add whatever you know our blog post is so laura simpson like this and then we're going to click on publish i'll just publish and i'll show you guys what it's going to look like within this template so this is our blog post and we can click on view and this is what it looks like so with our new template 
Now, if you want to get started with, you know, editing the pages and the layouts, you can go into the different sections. So I like to go into layout after theme. And then from here, I like to edit the options. So first off, I'm going to edit the title. Then we have our, you know, list link. So I'm going to save this for now. Then we have our header logo, which is going to say Durden. And then we can also enter our blog description. Now we have an image added in the template. So I can click on upload image from computer and I'll choose my own image file. We're going to scroll down and upload our own logo. Then we can choose our placement. So instead of title and description, have description placed after image and shrink to fit. So I'm going to click on save because I want this to be placed instead of the title. Then we have our scrolling menu with the items that it has. So it also has services, counter, as well as project. So I'm going to delete the counter item. And then I'm also going to delete the reviews. And once I've deleted the reviews, I can go into my main menu widget. And then I can choose the different features that we have. So we have our sitemap, we have our error page, web documentation, video documentation, download this template. I'm going to delete this and delete some of the excess menus such as the sitemap, shortcode and more. Now after that we have our main intro. Now in this I want to write maybe, let's say Durden is about Durden. And then we are going to add our caption, fashion, beauty and more. So we're just adding our caption. I think this looks pretty good. And then we have our link. So which page should this be linking to? I'll remove that. And then we have our image. So this is from a URL, but I'll upload an image from my computer. However, you can use URL based images as well if you have those. So let's say we're going to be using a bit more of a fashion based image. So I'm going to search for one of those. I think I'm going to go with this one and I'll just open this up and then I'm going to click on save. Now it's just going to add this. Now after that we have our headline text which is going to be our recent blog post and then we have our content within that we can add that and then we have our blog posts. Then on the right, we have a gadget. So we have our popular post project. Now I'm going to hide the project section because it's not necessary for us. So I can click on this over here and we're going to click on remove. And then we have our pages section, which I'm also going to remove over here. I'm going to remove this as well. And we're only going to include the section which is required. Then below that we have our next section which is our headline text so what our clients say about us now i don't need this so i am actually going to hide this section and we also have a testimonial section in this template now if you want to add those you can but if you don't you can always remove individual sections as well now once i've completed these changes i'll just show you guys what our template currently looks like so you guys can see this is our current template, Dirt Den, Fashion, Beauty, and more. And then we have our recent blog posts, what our clients say. And just like that, you can customize any template on Blogger. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries or if there's anything else you'd like to know or even if there's anything that I missed out on, make sure to leave that in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say.